can't believe you did that. I cannot believe you did that. Are you trying to get yourself killed? Oh, no, no, no. No excuses. I am here so I can keep you safe. I can't do that if you're trying to run away from me. Your father decided you need protecting, not me. I don't know why he decided that you need it now more than ever. And I don't know who he's worried about. I know nothing. So stop glaring at me like this is my fault. It's not. And you know that. <laughs> You're a lady. Of course there are people out there who would hurt you. You don't end up nobility without some people being jealous of what you have. I just don't know who's threatening you. So until I say otherwise, everyone we meet is suspect. You're smart enough to know this, so I don't know why you would run away from me. I have one job, and it's to keep you safe. I've trained for a long time to get good at this job, and I would appreciate it if you stopped making it so damn hard. <laughs> you think you can protect yourself? Really? Not a chance, little lady. You wouldn't know Hilt from Blade. And if a highwayman came at you, I don't think you'd have the stomach to gut him. The threats against you are serious, and it would behoove you to take them as such. Of course I know how to defend myself. I'm not some spring chicken. I didn't become a knight because I'm squeamish or can't get the job done. <sighs> Look. Tell your father whatever you want. Tell him I was mean to you, or that I harassed you, or any falsehood you can think of. That's fine. Just know that when you do, I'll be telling him about how you tried to escape from me, endangering yourself and the rest of my crew with your antics. No! You endangered all of us when you tried to escape. It took hours to find you again, and by the time we did, you were hungry, you were cold, and you were lost. You didn't even have the sense to steal my map before you escaped. Why in the seven hells do you think escaping was a good idea? You have absolutely no experience. You could have been seriously injured. You're very fetching, bubbly, effervescent, all the fine graces of a lady. What you are most assuredly not is a knight. However, I am. You need to let me do my job and keep you safe. Stave off would-be assassins and highwaymen. I don't care if you think your father is going to marry you off or that your life is just so hard because you have to listen to me. <sighs> I'm not pleased with this arrangement either, but I'm not some kind of harbinger of doom. As far as I know, your father isn't marrying you off, and you're not a prisoner. This is strictly for your protection. Father, dearest, probably pissed someone off, so your life is in danger as a consequence. I'm fair as I can be while keeping you from doing anything rash, and keeping you alive. So for the love of all that is holy, don't try this again. You had your fun little experiment, and it's over now. I'll let you off easy one time. Try this again, and you're going to really learn how miserable it can be. <laughs> you don't believe me. Just try it then. We will find you again, hopefully before you give yourself hypothermia, and then the real fun will begin. I've let you travel, followed you where you want to go, haven't stopped you from doing anything you want to do. Until now, I've been your shadow keeping you in sight, but guarded. This has been me going easy on you. You do this shit again, you're not going anywhere.
doing anything or seeing any one until I say otherwise. We will turn around and go right back to your family home and stick you in the dungeon there. No more pretty summer homes for the little lady. <laughs> Don't like that idea, do you? Good. You're not supposed to. What it is, is incentive for you to behave. Think you can manage that going forward? I don't want to hear any complaining and no more escape attempts, all right? Good. This is the end of it, then. We won't bring it up again. Now, come on. You need to warm up. Eat something. You were gone for almost twelve hours. I can't imagine you ate anything in that time, and your clothes are soaked through from the rain. I'm surprised you didn't come back when it started raining. Thought for sure you'd give up then. Sitting outside in the rain is enough to make most people quit. Hmm. Impressed is the wrong word. I'm not impressed with your stunt. I'm just surprised you were away for as long as you were. You are stronger than I give you credit for. It's still very misguided and unwise. Prove me wrong, then. In the meantime, here. I've got extra blankets and supplies in my tent. We still have one more day's travel ahead of us. We'll break camp in the morning and finish making our way to the summer house. Well, come on. Get in the tent. Yes, my tent. Don't be stubborn. Your stubborn privileges have been revoked, and your opinion here doesn't matter. You think I would let you out of my sight after that stunt you just pulled? Fat chance. Come on, get inside. We need to get you dry and bed down for the night. We leave at sunrise. <laughs> no, you don't get to sleep in. That would be akin to rewarding you for escaping. Yes, this is me letting you off easy. Did you think I wouldn't do anything? Count your blessings, little lady. This is the only hardship you'll have to face. I should make you sleep outside and without bedding. Since you were so eager to get away from camp. Instead, you'll get to sleep in here with me where there's a fire and some blankets. <sighs> All right, whatever you want. Go outside and sleep there instead. But you're not getting your own tent so you can start scheming to get away again. I don't trust you to be by yourself. For all I know, out of spite, you'll try escaping again immediately, despite my warnings. I told you, it's your choice. You're not going to change my mind about trusting you. So you have two options. Outside, in the cold, or in here with me. Come on, choose quick. Really, if you ask me, there's only one viable option. But since you seem to feel like I don't give you enough freedom, I figured the least I could do would be to give you a choice in the matter. You've already spent this long out in the cold. What's five more hours? <laughs> That's what I thought. Sharing a bed with me doesn't seem so bad compared to that, does it? I am not trying to seduce you. If I was, you would know. This is purely utilitarian. Shared body heat? Less to tear down in the morning, and if you try to get out of the bed, I will know. Don't try it, understand me? Good. I'm glad we're in agreement. You really put us through the ringer, little lady. But I'm glad you're back here and safe. Don't scare me like that again, alright? Come on, get inside. Sunrise will be here before we know it, and we both need some sleep. 